Yesterday I went and had some blood work done um, from my endocrinologist. So it's been a year since I've been on this particular re regime of estradiol and progesterone. And I got the uh, results back um, starting yesterday. So it was creatine tests, uh, creatine tests rather, that were performed prior and lipid panel. All was good. And today, some of the other, well, the rest of the uh, results for the other tests came through, including my estradiol and, well, my estradiol, testosterone, and prolactin levels. Everything's good. My testosterone is about where it should be with the regimen I'm on. My estradiol though is super high. We're talking like over 2,000 picomoles per liter. That's insane. Um. I feel great. I feel fantastic. I, I, I feel, I feel so good. Um, yeah. I, I was reading up on high levels of estradiol in, in, in women, at least cis women, and usually it doesn't go above a thousand very much. I'm like 21 a little over 2100 um, and from the literature that I was reading uh, in cis women there's a feedback cycle and if the ovaries aren't responding and releasing eggs the estradiol levels go up but I don't have that feedback cycle. I lack ovaries. I lack a uterus. So I'm not, my estradiol levels aren't high because of a feedback cycle because I get my estradiol exogenously. But um, if I don't feel like I'm trying to get pregnant or something. <sighs> I'm not sure what the health effects are of having such high levels of estradiol. But if it's not dangerous, I'd like to continue for another year. I've, I've had some significant breast growth. And maybe I can continue the breast growth on lower levels. Or maybe... Maybe I'm having the breast growth because they're so high extra levels. I take a fair amount of, of progesterone every day as well. Uh, I'm not going to say what the dosage is about any of my meds, but my prolactin levels are decent. They're not very high. They're about where they should be. And I checked out the um the heart disease risk calculator on the Alberta Health Services website. Uh, they have two options for gender, male, female. Probably not the best choices. They probably meant, um, they probably meant sex or something. I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> so I did both because I wasn't too sure. Like heart health is amazing, so I'm not worried about heart attacks or strokes. But while and my, my like cholesterol levels are all great, I mean, yeah, just why my part of, partially why my heart health ranks so so good. Risks are low, and my heart health, my heart ages are young. Right? I don't know. 
if if my endocrinologist is okay with it and doing the calculations for heart health and all that and lipid panel is great and everything maybe i can go another year I, mean, I, don't, I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what's safe or what's what's dangerous i don't know this is why i have an endocrinologist I mean, I don't want to get rosacea or, or anything like that. But at the same time, I feel so feminine. I feel so good. And I can experience so many changes. I, I'd love to see how far this can go. So I don't know. If I'll continue at these levels or not depends on my endocrinologist. I have a um, a consult with him um, next week, <clears throat> and we'll see.